and thereby I secured an All India Rank 52 in my final year. When you hear about cancer, you only think about death and nothing else. I had lost a lot of weight. I had lost all my hair. IOCL is a dream job for many and it was the same for me as well. But actually there were many factors which uh, led me to the decision of finally leaving my dream job. Hello Sangraga, thanks for joining me today. First of all, can you give a brief introduction about your educational background and uh, your past job experiences also? Hello Bhaiya, it's a privilege for me to join you in this podcast because uh, I have followed you since my student days. So I would uh, start by giving a brief introduction about myself. Uh, I am Sangra Kanjilal and I am from Kolkata. I have uh, completed my BE in Electrical Engineering from Jadavpur University in 2022. And after that, I have worked in Tata Steel as manager. And uh, in my final year of my college, I had secured a gate rank of 52 in Electrical. And after that, I had got multiple offers from, uh, from organizations like uh, Nuclear Power Corporation, NTPC and IOCL and thereby I had joined IOCL as an electrical engineer in 2022 and uh, subsequently I have worked in IOCL up to 2024 that is almost 1.7 years and uh, in 2024 I have taken a very tough decision to leave my job at IOCL and finally pursue an MTech in integrated circuits at IIT Madras. Lot of achievements at such a young age. Have you faced any setbacks or hurdles at, in your college days or prior to that? Okay, so uh, talking about setbacks, I would like to go to my past journey because uh, my life has not been very easy uh, since my school days. When I was uh, uh, only 13 years uh, of age, then I was detected with a critical disease called ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and uh, thereby I had to undergo chemotherapy, which was extremely tough for me. Actually, at that young age, when you hear about cancer, you only think about death and nothing else. You don't know about it. Many people don't know that uh, there is a treatment. So I had to undergo a very hectic treatment, both mentally and physically, for almost a year during my class eight final exams. And uh, I was completely detached from my friends and school during that time. So I had to take too many injections. There were only needles and hospital beds around me during that time and I was completely detached from my study so it was a very tough journey and after that when I came back to school I was in class 9 and my ICSC exams uh, were uh, upcoming so there was a huge uh, pressure of study and also I had lost a lot of weight uh, during my chemotherapy I had lost all my hair so it was a very tough comeback from there but I gave my best and worked hard during that time and I was finally able to secure 96.2% uh, in ICC exam and even after that uh, when I was in class 11 and 12 during my JE preparation days uh, then also I had to take oral chemo tablet and uh, even during my college first year so the JE preparation phase was uh, an even more hectic one than class 10 as you know so uh, during that time uh, when I had the medicines I had different side effects like nausea and my sometimes my body wouldn't permit me to uh, study. I kept going on and I just motivated myself to do my best and uh, thereby I had got a J main rank good enough to secure uh, seats in my desired branches in almost all the top NITs and uh, I, my J advanced rank was not that good to secure me a seat in my desired branch at the IITs but uh, my West Bengal J rank got me a seat at uh, Jadapur University Electrical Engineering Department. Uh, so my West Bengal J rank was 419 and uh, thereby I pursued the electrical engineering at Jadapur University. So this was my journey after my chemotherapy and uh, the comeback from there. Uh, during my college days, uh, I started my preparation, my third year, gate preparation, and thereby I secured an All India Rank 52 in my final year. I had one motivation in mind that uh, one day, if I succeed, I'll be able to tell my story to the whole world. And uh, then when I look back, uh, that struggle will motivate me to work harder each day. So that was my motivation all along. And I just wish that I could achieve uh, what I wanted. Extraordinary. See Seriously, uh, I have never expected you to tell this story. It's really very inspiring. So tell me, uh, why did you take this decision to resign IOCL and um, start MTech at IIT Madras? Uh, regarding this, actually IOCL is a dream job for many and it was the same for me as well. So I was doing a dream job for me too. I also thought that I would have to go to PSU. That is my ultimate goal. Because I had a lot of ultimate goal. Because already I had done a lot of hard work, so I felt like I'll get a secure job, I'll lead a settled life, good respect, good money, 
like that uh, was my target so i prepared for gate i got a good rank i cracked the interviews and i got multiple offers thereby joining iocl because it was a maharatna psu and uh, everything was going fine worked there for 1.7 years but actually there were many factors which uh, led me to the decision of finally leaving my dream job there were multiple factors like uh, problem with transfers and uh, promotion and uh, some factors like uh, work environment so these were the factors which finally led me to think about an alternative career path and uh, since the demand of vlsi is uh, continuously increasing in, in india so that's why i thought that it would be a good career to follow excellent so i'm curious to know this uh, how did your parents react when you t- when you told them that you are leaving um, ivocl because even in my case uh, that was the biggest hurdle that i faced convincing parents that i'm resigning from engineering services and going to private sector how was it in your case exactly so uh, what i want to tell you <laughs> i will tell you the truth only <laughs> i uh, first uh, told my parents about uh, leaving a secured government job and uh, it's a job like iocl their reaction was kyu ye naukri chhodna hai sarkari naukri hai you have worked so hard for it you are getting so many facilities there and you are trying to get into the private sector private sector is very hectic and uh, like that they told me everything but uh, i had to convince them over and over again that i really want to study now because uh, the place where i am working that is not suiting me it might be suitable for some people but uh, the mindset that i have that is not fitting into that Uh, environment so i cannot stay there and serve for 38 years because i had a long service time so i just didn't want to do the same thing over and over again for 38 years and face the same thing so that's what i told them and uh, uh, when i was able to convince them by repeating the same things again and again like i cannot do this anymore and i have to leave when i showed them that i have uh, got an admission letter from iisc and the top institutes of this country like iit bombay iit madras and so many offers they were very happy and they understood that yeah he is going to a nice place if he works hard he will get something of his choice so for the future aspirants uh, what were the few suggestions that you would like to give especially when they are preparing for gate yeah so for the aspirants i would uh, suggest that uh, they should uh, be consistent which is the utmost requirement for any exam that is uh, they should study every single day and uh, do not leave a break when they are not feeling like studying they can take a break and then again restart but it should not be like that there is a huge gap in the preparation and uh, they should focus on their numerical solving ability and uh, practice more numericals and also understand the theory well and uh, test series also plays a very important role in securing a good rank during the last day so revision and test series i would also suggest in the last 3 to 4 months before gate and i would also say that uh, don't be biased that i have to go to psu and psu is my ultimate goal in life or iit is my ultimate goal in life like that first uh, prepare for gate and aim for a good rank and after getting a good rank you can then make your decision because a good rank in gate can be a life changer it opens many avenues actually that's actually true we first uh, should focus on getting a good rank then we can think of what we can do with that rank uh, thank you so much uh, sangrak for joining me today it was uh, really nice talking to you and uh, thank you bhaiya and i would also like to add one more thing i have a youtube channel its uh, name is gate life and more and i just make v- videos there everyone can watch the videos and if you like the content you can subscribe my channel and uh, that's all i want to say for today yeah guys definitely check out his channel um, after knowing his story you would have probably understood how much hard work he has put in for your, his gate preparation so do check out his videos and uh, make sure you subscribe to that channel also right man thank you so much for uh, joining me ben thank Bob. you bhai hope you are inspired from his journey if you are also preparing for gate and planning to join coaching my top recommendation would be ace academy in fact i was also a student of ace when i was preparing for gate new classroom batches are starting on 21st of july and if you are interested in online coaching you can use the code matic10 to get 10% off on all the courses i'll add more details in description you can check it out from there